Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 in the Ring City DLC where we're uh, at the Ashen Peak Ruins and we're trying to get past a few uh, angels that are really, really annoying. Uh, but I think if we're fast enough, because they need a moment to spawn, we just go over here inside of the building and then I need to just go over there on the right so she's firing at them. And then this guy is really insistent of, on fighting us for some reason. I thought the other guy was full health. There we go. And then of course over here. Just gonna try and take the left route. Just out of the poison. And I don't have any place to hide. Aside from over here. Poisons. Great, now I have that to look at as well. Ooh, there's something big coming. Just gonna try and ignore the poison for now. this guy coming up doesn't look like it the angel is blocked for now this guy seems to be really pissed at me but I want to do this but this doesn't seem to lead anywhere so the only way I could think of is either up on the branches which circles around here because I don't think there's an entrance down there either. Um, I'm gonna have to try that, I think. Or maybe... Those angels are linked to something on the ground, but I haven't seen that angel's link yet. So I'm wondering if I can actually find it somewhere. Just gonna drink up and then drop down. No, this is not doing anything. Actually get on top of here. I'm already poisoned, so I have my piece with that. Why is that a angel not attacking me? He's looking in the wrong direction. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Is she still hitting me? Seriously. I'm behind the building. Oh, no, 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 no. That is an interesting strategy. So they keep trying to pin me down. I'm just going to talk this out a bit because I don't want to run into the next area with too much poison damage on me. He seems like he has a poisoned weapon. There we go. Just try to bait him out, because these guys are really annoying. Um, hi? Oh, so that's one of the belly dancers from the Earth and Peak. So that's one of the enemy types that was in Dark Souls 2. So these aren't supposed to be all that tough, but those two guys are really annoying. That's a pyromancer Zoe. This guy's still alive. Thought he was dead. I'm going the wrong direction. Jesus. Heal immediately. And now.
I got this. I got this. That's actually really cool. Those attacks are really, really awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna heal again. So that's actually a fan in her one hand that she uses for those fire attacks. And then a whip in the other. Yep, she's out of drink. Thanks for letting us know. There we go. Whew. A flame fan. That's actually a spell, it seems. I think it was over here. Yeah, there we go. Flame fan. Pyromancy of Zoe, descendant of the desert pyromancers. Used repeatedly to brush the fan of flame left and right. Zoe possessed true beauty, as did all the desert pyromancers, but hers did not poison, and so she became the unassuming queen of the feeble ones. Interesting. And the only one to survive, probably. Prism stones, yay! I can light my path if I want to. So the angel is still looking around for me. Although if I stay behind the trees... You shouldn't be able to track me this far. Desert Pyromancer's Hood? I'm actually gonna check that out because I found the gloves already as well. Hood of the Desert Pyromancers who once walked the halls of the Earth and Peak. It is said that the tin burgundy cloth breeds with magic. Desert Pyromancers, most of them female, were known for their great fans of flame and enchanting looks. But what is enchanting can also be deadly, especially when clothed in such alluring garb. Yeah, indeed, that's a nice uh, excuse to be, well, dressing them like that. And the rest of the equipment says the same thing, so... Oh, shit. That is annoying. Plunge! Plunge! Holy shit. Okay. Oh! Oh, that worked out. Next bonfire. Okay, but I feel like I skipped a lot, but... Yeah, you're constantly being hounded by those angels. That was really, really cool, actually. I do wonder what's next. So this is probably gonna crumble. Oh, that is the hold she was talking about. The hole next to the tree. So... If we follow Dark Souls 2, we're gonna end up in Iron Keep, but... It looks a bit different this time, so here we go. Oh god! This looks creepy. Okay. Oh, what? No, no, no. Oh, fuck. Okay. Demon in pain, demon from below. Two bosses at once. And I'm actually doing almost no damage. Jesus. I feel like they're swapping powers. Where's the other one? Oh, 
come on. So they both have a different set of attacks. But I don't want to be right next to the fire one, I feel. Jesus. So now they're both on fire, which is great. So he's going to be burned out. Shit. Yeah, I'm dead. Jesus. So, boss fight. Um, I think I'm gonna swap this out with the Uchi Katana again. Because that is one of my stronger weapons at the moment. I feel like I'm lacking a bit in the oomph department. Or it might just be a very, very difficult boss. But let's try this again. So there's one on the left and one on the right. Because you can see them while you're falling. And the left one starts immediately. Oh, that's a lot better. But I need to watch for them to burn out, because that's when they're weakest. So he's burned out. Jesus. So now they're both burned out. Okay, so that's another... Another attack. Okay, so one fired up, one isn't. Oh shit. They're both fired up.
Jesus. Out of the way. Oh, I'm fighting the wrong one. There we go, visceral. There we go, there's one. What's he doing? I almost got him. There we go. Fuck you. Both demons down. Uchi Katana for the win. Uh, um, um, no, 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 no. No, no, oh, fuck you. Come on. Oh, great. Now what? Demon Prince. Ow. Oh, Jesus. It's a roll. I'm almost dead, but... Okay. Surprise, surprise, this is another double boss battle. Something died already. Here we go again. Ooh, and I thought that did great when I defeated those two demons that... Well, in my second try, now. Only if I'm better off just focusing on the fire one. Oh, go! Yeah, I died already. Okay, skip one. Shit. Yeah, they're both... Shit. Jesus Christ, how did I do that the first time? Oh shit, that's toxic. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. That's one. Come on, buddy.
Oh, fuck you. I'm losing Astus here that I shouldn't be losing. There we go. That should almost finish it off, or completely. There we go. So that's gonna explode, right? They always explode. That was a big one. What's he doing? Come on. Ah. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Completely missed time there. Yeah. Oh! There we go. Okay. Popping an amber. Here we go again. Demon Prince, put it back on Astus Flask, please. Oh shit. Oh. go. There we go. Amber up. 
And now let's kill this bastard. Let's go kill him. Go. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. We're going to do this. Let the stamina come back. This is gonna start charging. Got him! Fuck you! Yes! Demon Prince down! Soul of the Demon Prince is mine, okay. Wow, okay, so uh, dear From Software, stop making bosses that have way too many phases. Um, that gave me 200,000 souls though. Um, just gonna check out the soul. Um, where is it? Inventory. That was one hell of a boss bite. I like the design. That was really cool, but. Soul of the Demon Prince, the demons birthed from the common chaos, share almost everything between them, even the pride of their prince and his near-faded flame, so that the last demon standing may rekindle it. So yeah, kind of uh, explains why that. Well, the Demon Prince came back to life. Is there a bonfire anywhere in this pit, I think? Is that it? No, that is just a rock. A wood? Oh, there it is. There's the bonfire. Away from the fire. Okay, so that's our first boss battle. Don't took me quite a few tries. I'm just gonna check out what that item is over there. Let's just refill it. What is this called, actually? The Demon Prince. Okay, never mind. Very original name. So I can... Small Envoy Banner. Another banner? The small banner used by envoys of Great Lord Gwyn in the days of yore. Face the ringed cliff and hold the banner high to summon facilitators of transport. For the pygmies who took the dark soul, the Great Lord gifted the ringed city. An isolated place at world's end and his beloved youngest daughter promising her that he would come for her when the day came. Wait a second, that is very interesting. So Gwyn... Everybody knows Gwyn, probably, so the, the big giant god from uh, the original Dark Souls, where everything started out as. Gave the pygmies the ringed city, so that's the place where we're in right now, or almost in. And uh, it's the pygmies that took the Dark Souls, so the final souls that, the soul that we never got in uh, the original Dark Souls. 
an isolated place at world's end and his beloved youngest daughter. I don't know who his youngest daughter might be. I guess we'll, uh, we'll find out in the next episode because I'm going to take a little break after this uh, very, very tough boss battle. Not as tough as uh, Sister Freed and Father Ariandel. But uh, yeah, it was quite the challenge. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And I hope to see you when we continue our path through the Ringed Cities. Thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in, in the next video. Goodbye.